This is, I think, the second time we have gotten this banner. Maybe the third. I don't remember exactly. We have had a few Hero Fest Phantom Snipers, a few Hero Fest KOBs, where everybody is featured on it from, you know, those sagas. And this time around, we're getting it again with the entire Phantom Sniper saga. But as you all know, Super Awoken units are in the game now. So is it still worth it or not? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about some of the key units from this batch. Haruto. We all know about Haruto, right? One of the best support units in the entire game. You see him up there. I would argue that he's maybe even better than Mako nowadays in a lot of situations as long as you can use him on the team because his biggest negative is the fact that he's a type b arch -gener. and as we all know there's a lot of type b arch -geners in this game but apart from arch he provides you tons of healing arch damage buffs earth resist downs earth damage buffs passively he's just an amazing overall unit probably the best unit on this entire banner. Miranda is also still really good, even though we are going to have a new taunt tank coming out probably within the next few weeks, which is going to be Kirisame. The characters like Miranda doesn't really fall off. She's still amazing as being this magic resist tank. That's what she is. She has a ton of passive magic resist in her kit that makes her very, very tanky against any type of magic boss in the game. She also has the ability to constantly ramp up magic damage for the entire team. And yeah, just a great tank all around. And since we're on the topic of tanks, let's talk about the real tank of the banner. Volti LR. He's similar to Miranda where Miranda, you know, is really good at dealing with magic damage, while Volti LR is really good at dealing with physical damage. And as we've seen recently with the Earth Summoner's Road and possibly with more harder types of content coming on in the future, he'll probably be one of the better tanks to take into a lot of different situations. A lot of ways that you can buff up your DR an insane amount with this character, whether that be through crest, quips, whatever the case may be, you can have insane amounts of damage resist with Volti LR. And also deal pretty good damage for a tank like his damage is relatively high which is, i guess a good segue point for uh simon simon you know the og now he's actually the og he used to be the new kid on the block but you know the og nuker has tons of dps in his kit with the phantom bullet having 100 defense ignore very self-sufficient just give him buffs and he can practically kill whatever's in front of him you could even make him crit if you want to he doesn't need it but you know you can give him some crit rate so he can have that critical damage buffs as well but the worst part about simon might be just his slots his slots are i guess really good in terms of damage dealing but not really good team oriented wise because as we all know this guy is a straight nuker if you want to deal millions of damage you use simon to blow up whatever's in front of you however now with ascended units coming out i think simon's starting to fall off a little bit in terms of how powerful he is as a nuker if we're considering all nukers sure you can say he's falling off but as for 100 defense ignore nuker he's definitely still the best in the game since his damage can go through where other nukers damage can't and then one of the last units i want to talk about on this banner is actually going to be priscilla now fire priscilla is also pretty solid she's able to buff up crit damage for everyone if you have more fire units on your team though you're able to get more crit damage she also gives everybody crit rates she can be used as a nuker she can be used as just a regular dps character or just as a crit buffer on your team however you choose the player she's gonna be great at every single one of them and there's not really nothing that's like a glaring issue with priscilla apart from maybe her slots being a little bit eh would like it to be a little bit more supporting kind of because she's kind of more of a team player type of attacker but as for the rest of the banner um it's not like the other ones are bad like volti water priscilla and dark haruto it's just, I feel like their uses aren't that prevalent. Well, you may be able to use Water Priscilla a little bit more, especially if you're newer to the game, because she actually does a lot for the team, but doesn't really excel at anything. But now, since we know all that, here comes the main question. Is it worth it, or is it not? In nowadays standards, I would say that uh, if you're a veteran player, this banner is definitely not worth Because for one, we have the Forever Summon, and every single character on this banner is actually obtainable through the Forever Summon now. So if you are a veteran and you're missing Simon, you're missing Miranda, you're missing Priscilla, you could just hope to get them out of the Forever Summon. And since you probably have most of these characters if you're a vet, this banner is overall really low value because you'll wind up getting a dupe and that's going to really suck. <laughs> However, if you're new to the game, I actually think this banner isn't bad. If you have a fresh account or you just started within the last like three months or so, you're missing characters like Haruto or you need a good tank like Volti LR or Miranda, this banner isn't going to be bad to do a summon on. But yeah, if you're brand new, highly recommend that you summon on this because so many great characters. On. And if you wind up getting pretty much anybody apart from maybe Volti, regular Volti and Dark Haruto, Naruto, you're gonna be able to make some use out but that's pretty much gonna be it for this one man thank you all for coming out it's been your boy p tell me down below are you gonna be skipping hero fest phantom snipers are you gonna be summoning on it i know a lot of people especially the vets out there you guys are probably gonna be saving because uh we all know what's coming in the future right with fates kurasame star god lisa and everything so we probably want to save more so for the ascension characters but if you're brand new to the game this is a great banner for you to go on oh and by the way before you leave uh you can also check out either one of the videos popping on the screen right now great content guarantee you love them and one more thing don't forget to drink water.